Hello everybody, it's Corey from Gemini Guitar, back for some Dark Folk Acoustic today. So this one's uh, the Travis Picking Technique with a Celtic sounding progression. So let's jump right into it. So effectively this, or well, the way that I'm doing this is using hybrid picking. And uh, the Travis Picking has got a particular sort of rhythm and, and feel about it, which you'll get to know as we progress through this. So the first chord we'll be using is the A minor chord. So what we're going to be doing to begin with is we're going to use the pick on the fifth string and we're going to use our third finger on string two. We're then going to use the pick on the fourth string, the middle on the third string. Pick on the fourth string, third finger, second string, pick on the fourth string. From here we'll be uh, going to a C major 7 chord. So we're going to pick the 5th and the 2nd string again. Effectively this half of the bar is, as far as the strings go and the picking technique goes, it's identical. It's just with uh, a different chord. Let's have a listen to bar one. Moving into bar two, mostly the same string wise, just with a different bass note and obviously a different note because of that. So this one's the easy G voicing where we only need the third finger at fret three on string six. Same picking technique in the order we've been doing, just uh, as I said, just the different bass note when we're plucking on beat one. After that then in the second half of the bar we'll be returning to the A minor voicing with a little bit of a fill or embellishment at the end. So I'm picking the second string, open, I use my third finger there, hammer to first, pull to open. Into bar three, A minor voicing again. This time though, we're gonna pick the, with our third finger, the first string along with the open fifth string for the beginning of the bar. So effectively what I'm doing is just in a subtle fashion, changing things up very, very slightly just to provide a little bit of more interest and variety. Now, one thing to pay careful attention to is making sure that you let everything ring out where possible. Second half of bar three, we're going to do a G5, as so we'll have the third finger and the fourth finger down. And we're going to have a alternate ending one, so we're going to use an E minor voicing, that's bar four. 
What we're going to do after that then is go back to an A octave. Uh, effectively this is implying the A minor chord, but we're only going to use two of the notes from it. We're then going to do a pretty nifty sort of embellishment fill thing at the end. So the way this works is like this. Now the way I like to do it is pick as little as possible. So you'll notice how I'm picking. You can use your pick or third finger, doesn't really matter. Hammering and pulling. Pick this note on the second string. Try to pull off the other two though. And then you'll have to pick the third string. Not really much we can do there. An upstroke with a pick works well. Now do note that you'll be returning virtually straight away back to the A minor counterpoint voicing there. So you'll have to be, well you might have to practice that a bit to get it right. And uh, for the second ending, all we do is play the, it's basically the same as um, what we did in the first ending, except we, on the second half of the bar, we end differently. So we do the E minor voicing. Now shift position, so put first finger at fret two on the third string with the open fifth. Pluck the uh, fifth string with your pick and the, the third string with the middle finger. Then let that ring and then play the A note in the higher octave from this A note. So just here and just let it all ring out. Or third finger. 